Truckee, California, where ultimately, precision design is the definition of survival for wingsuit pioneer Mike Swanson. Wingsuit flying, a lot of people look at it and they, they see crazy. Yeah, buddy. Jumping off cliffs or jumping off buildings or jumping out of planes, we're usually doing around 100 to 120 miles per hour. The wingsuit is is basically, it ends up being part of your body as you exit the for the base jump. Uh, the air gets rammed into these um, inlets and your suit inflates. You know, you look up and you see a bird flying and that's more kind of what wingsuiting is. You know, in skydiving, we move around each other three-dimensionally, but there's a lot more power and a lot more possibilities when you start to put on the wingsuit. I love flying. I have about 22 to 23,000 skydives and um, over 1,500 base jumps. I've spent uh, most of my life training for this. Details are important, you know? Usually when an accident happens, it's a series of events that leads up to that accident. So the more preparation that you put into it, the safer you're gonna be. And minimizing the risks is the biggest thing that you can do to ensure that you have a safe and successful jump. Generally, you'll check your gear before you leave to hike, and then once you get to the exit point, before you gear up, you'll check over all your gear again. With base jumping, you only have one parachute. In skydiving, you have two. So in, in base jumping, you're also opening lower. So it's a lot more important for your pack job, your equipment, maintenance, all of that stuff. You tend to take a little more care when, when you only have one shot. There's probably three or four major manufacturers of wingsuits out there. And um, like with any sport, they're pushing more and more every year as we learn and the suits are getting better and better, safer, faster, more fun. Each person that gets a wingsuit has it custom made so that it fits uh, your body properly and you can get the proper extension and uh, tightness out of the suit. We have our air inlets on the arms and the legs which inflate the suit. Here we have uh, what are called booties and what this does is it allows you to extend your toes which in turn tightens the suit which gives you more range. If I really want to go fast I can get a lot of tension out of the suit, which increases my performance. As soon as the canopy starts to open, you're already unzipping your arms so that you can get to any emergency procedures or canopy um, to steer right away. And then secondary, once you have all that, you zip it and pull this up and it's out of the way. So then you can fly your parachute and land. Yes, sir. Proximity wingsuit flying or terrain flying is uh, when you're flying in close proximity to the ground. A lot of times, you know, you'll have an exit point, you'll start flying, and then you'll try to tuck in as close as possible. It used to be in the beginning, everybody was trying to get away from the terrain, as far away as possible and open. And then slowly over time, everybody tried to get closer and closer. And these sports are just like any other sport. Every year, you know, the limits are getting pushed and, uh, and we're learning. I do demonstration jumps in different um, projects all over the world. I get to base jump, skydive. I get to do what I love every day. I'm very, 